and welcome to the Undisputed Career Mode. I already have a character created, Lucas Dimitri. I'm gonna load him up and let's get right into it. Now looking through the weight classes we can go through, he's gonna be a middleweight fighter. He's gonna be 165, coming in at 184 centimeters. I'm pretty sure that's maybe 6'1". Lucas Dimitri, the myth, 18 years old from Las Vegas, Nevada, and it is that time to get started. Now what is actually pretty interesting, I'm gonna go through here. You can change up the muscle definition. I didn't change it up too much. I kinda want a bit of a bulky fighter. Kinda looks like me in real life. He is pretty ugly still. I'm not gonna lie. The character creation and the tattoos are not the greatest, but I mean, it is something that you kind of just have to work around and just make the best of. So no tattoos at the moment. I'm gonna change my punch style to Roy Jones Jr. I really like that style and I will be going with a Philly shell. Orthodox stance, my stats, I'm gonna pick something real quick. I'll be a boxer puncher, my stat assignment. I'm just gonna pick one of these presets. You see here the defensive preset. I'm not too interested in that one. And I think I will be going with the strength preset. Here, a quick look at my stats before we hop into it. All the way down, looking really good. I feel great about this. I'm a bit nervous. I'm not sure what to expect in this career mode, but it is that time. Let's see what they're talking about. Before you can start your career and take on the boxing world, you will need to hire a coach. Coaches are core members of your team and will help you in many ways on your journey to the top. Listen to your coach and everything else will come naturally. Now, let's pick your first coach. All right. So it looks like we'll be given coaches at each part of the training. And it looks like this is our head coach right now. So I'm looking through these stats. Some of these have two Fs, some have no Fs. It looks like Janet Bridger only has an F in heart. So I might end up going with her. I'm gonna go with Janet and she will be our coach. Now here it is, the first amateur tournament. It is that time, I'll see everybody out there. Okay, here we are in the amateur bracket. I'm not really too sure what to expect but I do know that we have an amateur fight coming up. The myth, Lucas Dimitri, only a 53 overall, faces off against Maxime Ponomarenko. Sounds like a good fighter, sounds like a good challenge, and I'm excited for what's in store. If you played this game before, you do know that this game right here is next level. Undisputed Boxing is something that's kind of been on the rise recently on YouTube. It's only on the PC right now, so if you're a bit curious on where you can play it, if you do not have a PC, then unfortunately, you cannot play this game. But here we are, it looks like to be an evenly matched fight. The 172 pound fighter, Maxime, definitely will have the weight advantage. I'm pretty sure we have the reach advantage and going into this fight, I expect a quick knockout. I am on pro difficulty to let y'all know before we get started because I played through a little bit before and I wanted to play on the Undisputed, the hardest difficulty. It was just a bit too hard, honestly. I couldn't really get past anything. The first one I ended up getting knocked out pretty flush. So we are on the pro difficulty here. And I mean, I really like this game. The career mode seems pretty, pretty smooth so far. And I've been looking just to put some punches on my opponent now, working the jab. There's a one, two, beautiful. Looking to work that body. That is one of my abilities, I'm pretty sure is working the body. I have better body punches. It does more damage. So if we can keep looking for those punches, we should be able to get up out of here with the quick win against our opponent. He's tying up now in the first round to drain my stamina, it looks. But I'm, I'm stuck here. I can't even get out. I'm glitched up. And he actually drained my stamina a good amount there. We're moving around in the boxing ring now. Trying to stay on our pivot. Beautiful punch to the body. Looking to move around, and there it is once again. Good jab. I am a counter puncher. That will be my game plan, mostly. But do not be af afraid. I will be looking to put punches on opponents. Looking for the knockout victories, of course. A beautiful left hook landing now and a good slip. Here he is now, Lucas Dimitri putting some work in. Slipping left and right and a beautiful jab. Pops him in the mouth. Looking for something else now. Slipping off to the side. Maybe looking for a jab right hand. Here we go. Beautiful, but good head movement from Ponorenko. A jab now and a straight misses, but a beautiful counter. Comes right back with a punch of his own, Lucas Dimitri. He got the braids hanging low. And if y'all remember him on Fight Night Champion, I had a Lucas Dimitri playthrough. This will be his son, so to speak, to keep the storyline going. Beautiful hook and a nice uppercut. Just misses at the end of the first round. And it's back and forth. I think I got him, and I'm very confident in this second round. Good jab. Beautiful uppercut. 
I'm sure we want to see this game be played, so I'm going to try and keep as much of the game uncut, simply just so we can all see what this game has in store and if you really want to buy it. But a beautiful punch now from Lucas Dimitri, looking to put his opponent down. Looking to move to the body, but he runs up on him. A beautiful body punch. Three of them, four of them, five of them. And there he is, knocking the mouthpiece out of his opponent. First time out here and a beautiful punch. Drops him. I'm going to have to see that again. Maybe not. I guess he's down for the count here. I was trying to get a replay. That is a new feature in Undisputed Boxing, the replay feature, which I'm pretty new to, so I might have to take a little bit of time getting acquainted with it. But I mean, a beautiful combination. Came with a left hook and dropped his opponent. And now looking for the kill. Still has a bit of stamina as his opponent is getting back into his field, so to speak. Beautiful hook, and he could be down for the count. It looks like it. A monstrous left hook. And let's see that again, changing up the angle now, looking for the right hook and a beautiful one. Let's see it again, comes right back with the huge right hook and he clips the man. One more time again, and this could be the final time we see it. A beautiful right hook ends up putting his opponent down to the floor. And I think Lucas Dimitri is looking at his first amateur win. I plan on doing all the amateur fights, getting to the very end and then ending this episode off. So make sure you guys stay all the way to the end to see how it goes for Lucas Dimitri. Nine, and he's back on his feet at the count of nine. This man has heart fighting from the Ukraine, no surprise. It reminds me of Lomachenko. And now Lucas Dimitri looking for the kill. He's moving in on the opponent. And we're back now. A good punch, good slipping from Lucas Dimitri. And I don't want to get ahead of myself. The right cut already starting to swell up on his face. And a good slip from the Ukrainian. Back and forth now, left and right. Working a Philly shell, looking to play defensively. And there it is, a good jab and a good body punch. Gives me a push now, Maxime. Beautiful body punch, and now we're looking to work him. Good step off to the side. Working that Roy Jones Jr. stance. Getting a bit gassed, oh my goodness. Almost got caught with a wild right hook, but good head movement to keep it off the center line. I might have a cut underneath that right eye. My stats are not the greatest right now, so we will be looking to become the greatest eventually. But obviously, it's like this YouTube channel. You will start small, but you will become the greatest one day. A beautiful body punch. Nice one with a counter as well. He tries to come with something of his own, but he's looking a bit gassed now. I'm looking for the knockout here in this round. It's the third round, and we want that KO. A beautiful right hook, and the crowd makes a huge chant. He's locking me up now, and I kind of hate this. I'm not sure how to get rid of it. There we go, R2 maybe. That was it, holding it. A good jab. He's throwing some good body punches. Beautiful slip and a great uppercut. There he is, and he could be down for the count, and I think it will be a knockout. Beautiful uppercut, and he puts him down with two body shots. Looking deadly out here, I must say. Lucas Dimitri is not a man you want to mess with, and this is the reason why. A nicely timed liver shot on the left side of his body, and then came right back with the right side uppercut as well. Drops him down to one knee, and that could be all she wrote for this fight. We'll see right now what the count will be. One, two, three, four, four five, six. At six now. Seven. And I don't think he'll get up. He's not getting up, and that's a KO in the very first fight for Lucas Dimitri. No surprise, that's the way it's done. A great victory on his amateur debut. 1-0, and no surprise, Lucas the Myth Dimitri. Look at that, 20-16 to on the rounds. A great clip on the striking, and we will see what the fight rewards are. The Rock. Rocky Marciano, and here we are fighting rewards tutorial. So at the end of each fight, you will receive rewards determined by your performance and contract. These will include money, fame, staff XP, and other special rewards for completing certain events and challenges. Winning fights and getting a better manager will increase the rewards you get. Okay, so it sounds like we need a top of the line manager to get the most out of our wins. We're going into this second fight now in the amateur circuit against John Jackson. Ooh, look at that, on Wednesday, February 14th as well. So happy Valentine's Day. 
everybody out there. I'm pretty sure you're going to get this one after that, though. Let's go out there and get this victory. Hopefully, another knockout. I'm honestly falling in love with this Undisputed right now. I've played it in the past on this channel, and I think you guys enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well, and if you guys are, drop a like down below. All right, here we go against John Jackson. We're gonna find out what type of fighter he is. I didn't really look at his physicals much, but it does seem that he is a jab type of fighter, conventional. So we're gonna really have to play to our strengths, which is using that jab and coming off with that straight as well, the one-two. Maybe the jab-jab with that right hand, we'll find out if we can land it. I'm thinking a jab, yeah. A jab lead right hook is probably one of the best combinations we can throw in this game. Trust me, I've knocked out a few players online and even some of these CPUs on a higher difficulty with that combination. And a good tie up here from John Jackson. You can see it in his eyes. This man's a killer. Staying back now, looking for the knockout punch. You can get flash knockout in this game. So do not, I repeat, do not get too overzealous if you guys try your hand at this game because it might turn out to not be exactly what you thought it was gonna be. This man, John Jackson, is moving pretty nicely. I'm looking to land that jab now. There it is, a beautiful one-two. Straight lands on his chin. Another good punch now to the body. There it is, a good one-two. Blocking to the body and to the face. Needing a slip and Joe Johnson. John Jackson looking to back me down, but no luck as I'm throwing some good punches. Gaining stamina drain. 35 seconds now to fight in this first round. And it's looking good. Beautiful counter right hand. And John Jackson might go down. Looking for a counter once again. But he's landing some great punches. And I'm going to have to keep blocking to my body. He might be a body snatcher. That's what it seems like he is. And we're trying to land some really good counters. But he has a long, very long reach on us. And a beautiful body punch. Maybe to end the round. We'll find out if he can land it. And he does not. I'm going up and down, changing elevations on the punches, hopefully landing a good combination. I take the middle of the ring. I'm feeling confident. This is what we got to do. We have to fight with pretty much everything that we can. All of our power, all of our ability, and all of our skill in one. Good slip. Trying to really land a good punch here with Lucas Dimitri on Mr. Johnson. I keep calling him Johnson, but his last name is Jackson. I was thinking of Joe Jackson, you know, Michael's father. A good little combination. Jab, uppercut to the body. John Jackson is taking these punches pretty well. And Lucas Dimitri, I mean, I really want to get this knockout. So let's start looking for it. Oh, and he's rocked. I think he's rocked. A beautiful left hook comes in, and he almost takes him off his feet. John Jackson might be in a wrong place. Oh, but a beautiful combination comes right back with a straight punch that lands on the chin of Lucas Dimitri. A push from John Jackson. And we're looking to make something happen. Hey, let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys want me to let the game speak for itself? Or do you guys like my commentary over the game? Beautiful punch and a great right hook to the chin. Definitely didn't see that one coming in. John Jackson. I am trying to get a little bit better at my boxing commentary. It is not my favorite sport, so to speak. So I might not be the greatest when it comes down to the combinations and commentating on it. But I still feel pretty confident that I can do a good job for everybody watching right now. It's still the second round, though. Only 33 seconds left in it. And, I mean, it's pretty fair. I think I had this round in the books and a beautiful left hand. But Joe, I keep calling him Joe. John Jackson keeps backing up, and he's fighting pretty well here. Looking for the body now, and I'm just missing. Going to have to keep my hands up. Good guard, and a beautiful right hand comes back on John Jackson's face. And he's cut open. Looking for a cut now on the right eye of Mr. Jackson. And hopefully, in this third round, we will cut him open because I feel like there is only one option left. Let's go. We're looking for the knockout here in the third round, and I'll be disappointed if I don't get it. Let's throw that jab, right hook, rear uppercut. Oof, beautiful punch from John Jackson, and I'm gonna start backing up. I'm gonna fight on the back foot. I'm gonna let John Jackson come towards us, and I'm gonna fight the counter style this last round. A beautiful punch, and let's see exactly what we can do. Great left hand, just misses though. I've got to fight like Roy Jones. I'm gonna switch the stance now. Looking for a southpaw look. Or actually, this is the orthodox. I should have been an orthodox the whole fight, given this is my actual default stance. As Mr. Jackson throwing a huge combination, missing all of his punches, looking for the body and not hitting any. Beautiful combination. Hit him with the jab, straight to the body and a left hook. 
And you missed the Jackson. John Jackson is on the pressure now, thinking that he has to fight strong, and he will. It looks like he will. Leaning back, not blocking his body. So the next punch I throw will definitely be there. Missing a hook there and a good slip. I'm moving forward. Good combination. Looking for the body, and it's blocked up. Now Lucas Dimitri. I could land a mean right hook if I get the opportunity. We'll find out if I can. Beautiful opportunity right here. And there it is. The right hook lands for Lucas Dimitri. I'm thinking this is his fight. I really don't want it to end here because I would have to just end this episode off. I said I was going to fight until I lose my last amateur fight or win my last amateur fight. Bit of a lax commentary now. And here we are in the last seven seconds of this fight. It's looking good. And we're going to have to fight. Give everything we got. And a beautiful punch just misses. And we're still going to go to the whistle. It might be us, it might not, and it is. Lucas Dimitri in a unanimous decision over John Jackson. I did not expect the victory today, but I definitely will take it. I'll see everybody in our next one, but a matter of fact, I'm not even gonna skip it. Let's go see what our fight rewards are after that second fight and our second victory. Looks like some vitality upgrades, some speed, some fame, and $120 of earnings. Not bad. I mean, to fight and get 120 bucks, not bad. Up next, though, we have Jalen Bennett. It should be a good matchup. I really don't know what to expect. They don't give you any heads up on these fighters. They just throw you into the career mode and say, good luck. I know when I was playing online, there were some mishaps. So if you guys get on the game and it starts glitching, I would just automatically look for the um, undisputed page on Twitter. They probably will be able to help you out on there. But here we go, Jalen Bennett. A fighter from Havana, Cuba. And he has a pretty good reach right now. So we're actually going to look possibly to keep moving forward. To really try and keep our head on a swivel. We don't want to get touched by any of these punches, especially from this type of fighter. He seems like a guy with a lot of pop to his hands. A lot of power in those punches. And a beautiful right hook to the body. Throwing some punches now, exchanging. And Lucas Dimitri on his back foot. Letting his stamina come back. And there it is, a beautiful combination. I gotta throw that jab straight to the body a couple more times. And let me see if I can get up out this clinch. Because every time they clinch me up, I'm not trying to do this, bro. Look at my stamina. Get up off me. That might be a glitch. I'm not sure if that's actually a clinch up animation or if that's just a gameplay error. Like they getting too close and then they get tied up. But let me know down below if you guys know anything about that or if you guys have played this game yet. But Lucas Dimitri now looking for his own victory. He is the myth for a reason, but he is not a legend just yet. He's been talked about in the underground amateur circuit for quite some time now. Switching the stance back to the orthodox look. Looking to work that jab. And just staying back on the back foot. We know boxing is not a sport where it ends in three rounds, four rounds even, or five. Sometimes a boxing match can go all 12 rounds, and those are the fights that really leave a legacy and a historic mark on the game. Lucas Dimitri now, really working and moving around in the ring. I'm just trying to keep my head on a swivel. Beautiful touch. Good counter. There it is. Good slip and a beautiful... Oh, and he's down! A flash knockout! Just like that, a beautiful slip and a great punch to the mouth. Puts him down. Let's see it again. Look, beautiful slip and right back at his face. One more time and a quick slip with a quick counter punch. And just like that, his eyes are gone. I'm going to have to grab that screen grab for the thumbnail because you can't even see his eyes, man. Look at his eyes. Rolled back in the back of his head. Lucas Dimitri already looking for the knockout in his career. And it's amateur. Just wait till we get to the pros. I'm only a 55. And this man cannot touch us. A quick slip from Lucas Dimitri, looking like Roy Jones Jr. Puts him clean down to the canvas. And that's exactly what I expect from this type of fighter. I'm pretty sure that was the end of the round. And he got lucky, saved by the bell for sure. I don't think it was a uh, count of 10. It was definitely a count of eight or nine. But we're looking for a knockout now, simply because we know what we can do to this man. Good body punch. Looking for the jab, we want to square it up. Backing up, keeping our head on a swivel. And maybe making something happen here. Nothing promised, of course. It is the game of boxing. Stepping back, using that head, using that brain, and using our abilities. A good punch now, that's my combination that I go to. 
A jab straight to the body, coming back up with that lead hook. That's one of the best ones that you can throw as an orthodox, especially with this Roy Jones Jr. fighting stance. Beautiful combination now, looking for an uppercut. And a good slip, once again. Ooh, and he comes back with his own. Wow, good body punch, and that could have dropped Lucas Dimitri to the floor. Good slip, and a beautiful counter punch. Stepping off to the center line. Now looking for a combination, and here it could be. Keep that stamina, keep that stamina. Got to make sure to watch that. That might be the reason why we get knocked out. I'm not going to lie. You throw a bunch of punches. You don't expect to miss them. Next thing you know, you don't got no stamina. And next thing you know, you are flat on the canvas wishing that you saw them punches coming in. Oh, a beautiful punch to the body by Bennett. And now Lucas Dimitri is looking for a knockout once again. Wow. Good counter punch, though, from Bennett. Making sure to keep that pressure up. And Lucas Dimitri's head health is now depleting. Good jab. Step back. Oh, good slip. Almost lost my head. Good combination, good switch stance. Looking for the body punch, and there it is, but he lands his own counter left. A beautiful combination now from Bennett. And now Lucas Dimitri looking for his own. A good jab, stepping off the center line and making sure to keep moving them feet. That probably is the most important thing in boxing, is your defense. You can defend with your head movement, you can defend with that jab even, or you can defend with that footwork. Of course, there's blocking too, but in this game, trust me, if you block too much, they'll deplete the block so fast that you got no chance of even defending anything coming in. But good punches now coming in from Lucas Dimitri. Beautiful combination, and I don't want to stand here too long and trade with this guy, Jalen Bennett, but that jab is doing numbers. And there it is, a beautiful right hook, counter punch. Maybe looking for the knockout now. Body punches coming in on him. Great punch, and there it is. Double jab and an uppercut almost clips him on his knee. A dirty strike, almost that was, and a beautiful, beautiful liver punch. That's what it was, a beautiful liver shot. Crushes Bennett, and the jab just puts him down to one knee and has him taking a moment. I'm not too sure if he'll get up, but if he doesn't, we know exactly one, what that means for two, Lucas Dimitri. Three, Another victory four. in the books. And another Seven, opponent down. Eight, eight nine, nine, and he gets up at nine. Wow, my congratulations for him. That's definite heart, the Cuban here. And we're going in for the kill. We're going in for the kill. Looking for the kill now. Beautiful punch. And he's got us off the ropes. Missing punches now, Lucas Dimitri in a good slip. But we want to make sure to keep our stamina aware. Keep our stamina up. We don't want to lose it. And a beautiful punch, stepping off the center line now. Looking for the body shots, and there they go. Straight to the body, good jab, good straight to the body again. I'm landing good combinations, but I'm looking for that knockout punch. I'm gonna switch to the southpaw. See, you can tell I'm not the greatest in southpaw just yet. My, whoa! Got me in a choke slam. Can we cut that out, ref? Good combination. Catches him with a counter right, little check hook. Step back, and a good right, but he comes back with a quick slip. And a great counter straight. Possibly putting him out, and he's done. There is no way he's getting up from this, and I'm pretty sure it is all but over for him. The final bell ringing, and his face is bloodshot red. And he gets up at eight. Congratulations for him, but I'm pretty sure he's been dropped three or four times this fight. So a definite unanimous victory for yours truly. Lucas Dimitri. All right, another victory in the books, and this episode is not over yet. I'm pretty sure we have one more fight to do after this one, being that the amateur championship. And it is the finals for the amateur bracket. The regional scene on the West Coast here, Lucas Dimitri versus Mikhail Kulik. I'm not too sure what to expect from Mr. Kulik, but it should be a great fight once again from Lucas Dimitri. He is the myth but not yet the legend. Stay tuned to see how his career goes. One thing about Undisputed, I really like these graphics. And here we are, getting ready for the championship fight, still in the pool hall. A win here today would net Lucas Dimitri 600 bucks. That's a great payday. I'm sure it's gonna pay his rent. But Mr. Kulik here from the Ukraine, a historic country known for fighting for sure. And I'm looking for a knockout today. I'm a bit nervous, but let's see how it goes. Already with good movement from Mr. Kulik, Khalil. Or excuse me, Mikhail Kulik. 
A good body punch. Now I'm just looking to piece him up a little bit. He seems like a type of fighter, Mike Tyson style, get, get inside on you, left and right, good head movement, looking to catch you by surprise. And if we can just limit all those things I listed, we should get this fight in the bag. I'm going to keep him at distance. Beautiful little pull counter. Nice slip as well. Beautiful counter left. That is Lucas Dimitri's main prerogative. His defense is not that great. But, I mean, his counterfighting is where it's at. The power in his punches as well. Definitely pack a punch if you miss yours. And there it is. A beautiful counter left. Once again, maybe I should have went on undisputed. I did lose my first fight, and I didn't want to really bring a career mode where I couldn't hold my own, and I was just getting dominated, you know? But maybe after this one, eventually I'll do an undisputed career mode on the hardest difficulty. Good defense. And a great punch now to the body. Good slip. Moving his head around. And look at, look at Lucas Dimitri. Draining the stamina of Kulik now. And just looking to move. Let's go for that lead body. Oh, good slip. And a great counter left. That check left hook is bad news. If you come up on Lucas Dimitri with his hands down, don't think you're going to land a free punch. You most likely won't. He's probably got you set up for something that you don't even see coming yet. Some good punches now to the body. Both blocked. Or maybe they got in. I'm not too sure. But Kulik, look at him now. Showboating a bit with his feet. Getting loose. Loosey-goosey. I like it. And a big punch. Oh, he could have been rocked. Let's look for the knockout. Watch that stamina, though, Frank. And a good punch to the body. And oh, almost getting rocked there. Almost getting dropped in the first round. I'm going to have to keep my hands up. It looks like Kulik does have a lot of power in those hands. And he almost put me down in this championship fight. Whew, keep my head on a swivel, man. This dude ain't playing. Oh, going for a headbutt. Almost got myself knocked out. Jab left hand. Good slip. I'm looking for the pull counter. There it is. Beautiful. Wow, good head movement from Kulik. This one is a competitive fight, that's for sure. Looking to slip now. Left and right, we're moving. And a great left hand. Good jab. Stepping off to the center line. It's back and forth now. Kulik is putting the pressure on me. I'm going to have to keep my head and my wits about me to make sure I don't get caught with any punches and to make sure I land all mine. Good jab. And now looking for the body. I'm going to switch to southpaw. Missing some punches now. This game is buggy. A little bit buggy. You would think that your punches would come out how you expect them to, but I just threw a southpaw jab and it came from behind his back. I'm not sure if he's just coming out with a little bit of a uh, drunken master rope-a-dope style. I like it, though. And here we are. I'm working that jab. Still staying back on my back foot. That's my main fighting style. I know Khalil, excuse me, Mikhail Kulik is going to want to come towards me. And when he does, it will be all but over for him. Not the quickest fighter, Lucas Dimitri, but the power in his hands are definitely unmatched. 30 seconds left in this second round. Looking for a bit of a breakout. And here we are, clinched up again. Throwing some punches now. And I'm not too sure what's going on with that clinch animation. I'm really not a big fan of that. I don't think it uh, flows too well. But, I mean, you still just have to keep fighting. I think this guy has this fight in the bag, though, right now. Second round. Holy crap, he's putting the work on me. Second round. I got him. First round, I think it's his as well. So this last round, I'm going to have to come out here with the knockout if I want to win this fight. Good counter right. Those punches right there that come in with the sneaky, sneaky strikes are the ones that will get you the knockout. Beautiful right hand. Punch from behind the head. There we go. Good combination. And I said I wanted to stay back, so here we go. Left and right, we're going to move. And we're going to start to stalk our opponent here. We're looking for the knockout. We're like the alien. Great combination. Maybe another one. We have to drop him. If we don't drop this guy, I think we lost the fight. Lucas Dimitri having to stay on his P's and Q's. And a beautiful rock. And he could go down. I think he will. Beautiful combination. Keep hitting the body. And a beautiful left hand. He drops. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Crazy combination. Double it up to the body. And a crazy right hook. Smashes him. And we go right back down. I think that was to the liver. Crazy left hand ends up rocking him. And we know exactly what that means for this fight. He probably will get up as it is the first time that we dropped him. But hopefully we can knock him out one more time. One, two, and here three, he is. A good count four, now. Five, six, seven, seven eight. eight. I think he might be up at eight it is. 
But with that drop, I think I might have this fight at a tie right now. I'm gonna come up in here and put the pressure on him, but it looks like I don't have my, my abilities right now. So we're gonna have to fight with our brain instead of our athleticism. Good slip. Oh, wow, and a good counter punch from Kulik. Looking for something now, and maybe a pull counter straight. Beautiful on the top of his chin. And we have to get back, get back, get back. Get back and hold that stamina in. Last 10 seconds, go crazy. Last 10, last five now. And you hear the chance from the crowd. A good punch, looking to land. And we're just going to the final bell. And there it is. Lucas Dimitri with the victory. Let's go. Unanimous decision. I did not expect that. It looks like I had the first round in the bag. I gotta start trusting myself more and having more confidence in my abilities. All right though, let's go see what these fight rewards were for winning the last fight of the amateur tournament. Looks like we got 600 pounds, 30 in fame, 500 XP for stamina, and 1,000 strength XP. I am the tournament winner. I won all four fights, and it looks like our coach here has something to say. Now we're getting a cut man. The cut man is one of your three staff members they are your medical team and will heal you in and outside of fights. Their cut, swelling, resistance, and recovery skills will give bonus healing when you are hurt in the ring. Their surgery and physio skills will give you a chance of having a quicker recovery from major and minor injuries suffered in fights and in fight camps. Okay, so the cut man might be one of the most important people in your team. When in the contract negotiations with a cut man, you can choose to hire them for a 3-5 and seven fights getting a bigger discount the longer the contract. Sounds good. Now let's look through who our cut men and cut women are. It looks like, looking at the stats, I think I might go with Tony Smith Warren. Or a matter of fact, I thought about it. The cut man we will be going with is Greg Connery. Cut level E, swell D, resistance E, surgery E, Physio E and Recovery D. All right, Greg, welcome to the team. Happy to join the team. A pleasure to be working with you. I have the skills needed to keep you fight ready when training as well as patch you up in the ring. That's all I need to hear from you, Greg. Appreciate it. And here we go, our manager hitting us now. I'm definitely gonna be getting a new manager, I think, right now. The manager is one of your three staff members. The manager's skills during negotiations will help you get the best possible fight contract. The four manager skills will influence the likelihood of getting a better fight. The amount of money you will earn from a fight, the amount of fame you earn from a fight, and getting the best terms in a pre-agreed negotiation. Okay, this is what we talked about before. The manager is definitely the most important part of your team. Now, negotiations, I think I might just go with Alan Southers. I feel pretty good about him, and I think that he can make a pretty good impact on his career. So, Alan, welcome to the team. And now we're in the pro leagues, I'm pretty sure. I got assigned to a gym, and I think there might be only one gym available right now to sign to. And it is. Looks like Turner's Gym, $0 sign-up fee, zero fame required, and that will be the gym that we are going to. Here we are. This is your career hub. From here, you can manage all aspects of your career. Sounds good. To advance the week, you'll progress your career by one week. The negotiate fight title will let you enter negotiations. Okay, cool. The boxer car provides an overview of your career. The my boxer title details everything related to your boxer. Okay. The notifications title will update you on important events. The media feed updates you on the major events of the boxing world, and the tip button helps you learn more about an area. So if we don't know what we're doing, I'm just gonna click the tip button and it'll give us a bit of a heads up. So the amateur circuit is in the books, and next time out, Lucas Dimitri will be looking to make his pro debut. I just wanna say thank you very much for tuning in. If you enjoyed, drop a like down below and subscribe for more uploads like this one. It's been Frank in the Boxing Ring with Lucas Dimitri. Just want to say, stay safe, everybody, and peace out.